Hey all, this is this. This is something a bit different as you can see here. Uh, this is going to be Resident Evil 2. We actually do have some options here actually for once. Um, so, uh, so is this? Can we actually? these settings are the correct ones or I don't know re really even how to set up these it doesn't seem to be no matter what button I press here it doesn't change anything oh that changed what so Okay, so it changes on certain buttons. I don't know if it's gonna be like it's if it's gonna work in you know if it's gonna work in. Uh, okay, so high quality. Yeah, okay, high quality, good. So I think the standard one is gonna work. That is probably this setup is probably gonna be used. You know. Okay, so this is 6, this would be 8, the R2 would be 8, so R1 would be that. I think it's set properly, I think it's set. I think that these settings are actually the exact same as uh, as, as RE3, but you cannot... Wait, so what is special? Fort, oh wow, so you can access Fort right away, and you can access Tofu right away, that's interesting. So we play original mode and right yeah, original mode. Uh normal. <laughs> I haven't played this in TV in such a long time. A bizarre occurred. I did not really prepare any water for this, which is pretty bad. But yeah, uh, this is something I have never done before. Which is weird because I own the original and stuff that back in the day. Uh, so in Resident Evil 2 I always played Claire first because that was the first disc. And stuff that I didn't think you could actually play with, with Leon first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So he does have 8 inventory space. Which is the thing. It seems to be exactly the same buttons as... Uh, as uh, yeah, that's the map button then. Okay, good. There's no uh, quick turn, of course, obviously, so, uh, yeah. But I mean, that's, yeah, because the turning is a bit weird there because of how the turning was. The turning wasn't as smooth in RE2 as in RE3. Freeze. Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human! Now, obviously, we want a shotgun. You can also get a shotgun later at the po police station. You don't need to pick it up here. And I believe you have to skip... What is it? You skip killing every zombie and you don't loot anything. And that's how you make Brad appear. But I think... Right, you have to... Brad only appears once you're beaten the game. I believe. In order to like get the costumes and stuff like that. But the question is, since Tofu is already unlocked... Does that mean that it will be, you know, is the question. That's a long time ago since I played this. It's a weird since we don't have the, like, the turn, you know. But I could aim there with R2, I think I did. But yeah, um, but we shouldn't need to, we shouldn't actually need to, I mean, we might have to actually. I forgot, do I actually need to go into the menus and change? I probably should have done that beforehand. Because it didn't look like I can... I don't know if this is the auto-aiming being on here. I thought... I really thought about using knife here, actually. 
section because uh, that makes a weird with check being second okay. yeah this is way worse actually Is still at fine though because you know I'm trying to save a little bit of ammo there with the knife slashes there because you know Yeah Leon is a tank tanky boy but the thing is he has 200 health which is the same health as he has and so that but this is of course real like normal mode and stuff that but yeah and the shotgun only has four four shells because it's basically because he fires some of the shells, so it's not fully loaded. Bring me Tom M10. It uses 12 gauge. It's a small version of the M1. And this is a Heckler and Cars VP17. Yeah, but sadly it doesn't change the name into He Stopped Breathing. Yeah, boom. So we did use up some ammo, but we can find ammo here in the next uh, area. And normally, if you leave here. He will use shout immediately and be like blah, 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 and stuff like that, you know. Oh, so don't to one bullet. Um, wait. And we actually want to push through here. And you can avoid getting bitten more and stuff like that by certain enemies, like you can. Uh, And is this where it is? No, it's in the second one, I think, where the ammo will be. So I've never done actually a, a Leon run like this. I remember I had a friend who actually did Leon first and I never thought that you could do like Leon first and stuff like that. And I might have tried it at some point, but then I always got unlocked because I'm not knowing where the items are. Uh, okay, so this, right, they do spit in this, but I believe this should just be a free... Uh, this should be a free like used, you know. This should just be a free almost. Which I'm turning down the volume a bit because the like RA2 is so much louder than RA1. Or at least the zombies are loud. <laughs> the zombies are very loud, they are from And she's like, yeah, my punch dog. <laughs> Sushi? Sushi? You can actually see that they actually have text on the shirt that it actually says something on this shirt and stuff like that. I mean, and normally you can use skip these, uh, but like you can use to avoid them and stuff like that. Like you can just go down and avoid them, but it's better to just kill them, I feel like. Because hey, if we're gonna do a knife from of this eventually, you know, and stuff like that, we're gonna, you know, first day on the job. I mean, he will be smart, he brings a knife with him and stuff like that, which is, you know, interesting. So that makes you wonder, like, do these the cops have, like, a knife, like, that is, like, just a regular issue? Because the knife in this looks way more like, the, like an actual knife, like, this looks like... This knife is, of course, obviously a combat knife. Yeah, a combat knife, it could come in handy. And it looks a lot like Chris's knife from R1. Okay, we can you skip this? We did loot that extra ammo there, right? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're near where Susie was. And here we should just be able to run. Because there's gonna be no ammo here. There's no ammo on that guy. And I forgot if that person is on the floor or not here. Wanna check? You are on the floor, Susie! Susie? Oh, did we make him fall? Yeah, we did. Uh, please, is there something in the case? No, nothing in the case. That is worth. Because sometimes, right, sometimes, if, if you don't want to kill the zombies... Oh man, this is bad. 
I forgot that there is no healing technically here. Lines, lines, lines. <laughs> ah, shit. It looks like it's it's like weird with the movement. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through there. I'm gonna go through here. There's gonna be no bread. Obviously. And let's see. Yes. And that's not apparently in the American version of the game that is not there. And stuff that that's uh And hey look, it's the police station. Here, take this key card. You can unlock some things with this. Yeah, more ammo. Ooh, that's a lot of ammo actually. And uh ink ribbons. Yeah. It's a way of not having the quick turn and stuff that. Yeah. Do we start with some files in this? No, we don't. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so I forgot in because in this right, uh, just like in RE One, they have different like key items uh, because I believe Sorry, it's like in RE One, right? In our one, it's the same thing. Like Chris has the lighter because he likes smoking, and Jill has the lockpick, of course, which he actually receives from Barry technically and stuff like that. But yeah, and in this, Leon has the lighter, although Leon does not smoke. I'm pretty certain that that has never been shown. So you know, and it might just be like, oh, that it's a Chris thing or whatever, you know, and stuff like that. It might be that Leon technically knows who Chris is, even though they don't meet in this game. Just, you know, because, you know, he's a rookie cop, you know, and stuff like that, you know, but, you know. And of course, RA2, you know, like, okay, sure, RA2 is still scary and stuff like that, or, I mean, it used to be scary, but... <laughs> And the thing is used that RE2 was way more action, it was always like that, like, like people were like, oh, but RE2 is so scary, why? Like when people used to say that Umgi go back to the glory days when everything was about horror and stuff that and then like a lot of people like oh Umgi RE2 and then it's just like no RE2 was so much more action than RE1 and stuff that it's not even like you know because they technically do give you more than enough ammo in this even on normal mode to actually kill absolutely everything and stuff that but that's of course means if you hit and stuff that and I believe it uses it automatically, you don't need to actually, yeah, typical. So here up the art card. Unlocks that, unlocks that. And if you're on a second run, then it unlocks the thing up, up there, of course, obviously, so yeah. Um, right, and technically that is the first quote-unquote save that we're supposed to do. Uh, Police memorium, um, and this is of course gonna be just simple lock or desk is locked. It doesn't say simple lock specifically there. And yeah, we don't get anything here to start with, and it looks so much weirder the, the item box in two and stuff like that. Yeah. This is gonna be a bit of an issue though because we are we're at orange caution. I thought there were more uh, that, that there were more healing items in the. Oh, this looks weird. Okay. And it's blue in this, even though this is normal mode. Yeah, because there's no way that this is easy mode. By the way, even though it might seem like this because we took a lot of it, because then we would have begun with way more. We would have had like. We would have had like way more ammo at the start and we would have, I think, even started with the first aid spray. The problem is, go if we go this way, we're gonna deal with a liquor. And uh, and I think that we just get fucked immediately because the green herb is just gonna heal us up to a certain point. Although this place is gonna be full with zombies, so we are gonna need to shoot once with the shotgun and hope we kill here. 
Is the room right with a lot of? Because if we shoot off the legs and we reset the room, then that should be it. Put closer. I think that's it. I'm gonna do that check so many times there instead. Right. And this is another one. So this should be full heal, if I've calculated correctly, that that two orange herbs, or <laughs> orange herbs, two green herbs, are enough to heal, yeah, from, from orange caution to full. And we could technically go in here already, but there's nothing we can do really in there, in those in that area yet. Uh, so yeah. It is good to go here early though, because inside here... You bastard. Oh, I got your arm at least. Yeah, we can get these here. I forgot what the password was here. Uh. We have the password already though. We might actually have it already. A pre-release memoriam, blah, blah, blah. Stars office, second floor, yeah. 2236, okay, good. 2236. 2236. Two, two, three, six. Shibush! Shotgun shells. Map. Yes. But the right, they call it, uh, or it has been moved from the star's office, is what it actually mentions in the thing. Right then, yeah. And no, oh, oh there is green herb, is the two. Yes, not three. Nope. Okay, so the candy is auto aim, but it's not like the the. It's not like it's technically not auto aim, uh, right? So it's like actually I have to aim in the direction. But basically, if they're on the left side, I will always hit no matter where on the left side they are, as long as I'm aiming this way. So you know. Because normally, you know, you would use that to the auto aim in this and then things become easy. But you know, this is a bit... Okay, and here we load. Yeah. There is a zombie over here somewhere. Uh, where, do you, where do you come from? Or was he actually being on the floor? And this guy is dead. And he has hang on bullets. We can, we can go out here, but the, the top part should be locked. Yeah, the top is gonna be locked here. I'm pretty certain that this is locked, that you cannot use the like, go here right away. Oh, no. But even though Leon has 200 health in this, just like how Yil has 200 in Ori 3, I feel like he can take way more punishment. But it also depends on the zombies, of course. Because they always. F f oh, yeah, that's hard. But hard key, Leon normally cannot get the hard key. Wait, that's a file. Isn't it? It looks so much like it is a file because it, there's so much to that. Because of the way the pixel looks in this. So right, so now we have a way to chance to survive, but we only picked up two of the green herbs, of course. Uh, so yeah. And it's a bit weird with how the turn turning is in this in comparison to regular, you know, regular. I don't know how many parts this is going to be also because, you know, um, because again, I haven't done a proper run. This before, do we leave all of the green herbs here, or do we just pick one with us? We do. We just deposit the dicks, I think. We deposit that, and we have one green herb with us. That should be enough, I think. And we can actually completely skip this liquor fight if we want to. So yeah, um, 
head is missing. We can get some wine, you know. This is nice. And this is, by the way, this is the first key, right? No, this is speed, okay. Okay, good. Uh, he did a stupid thing there, which is good for us. I don't remember how many zombies there are going to be in this corridor. Or if there is even is any. No, it's just going to be with the arms here. Actually, let's do this right now, because we can, because we're Leon. Zombies. Oh. Very support. Right, and it's in this, where there is something here, I think. Oh. But there should be shotgun shells in the corner over there. But yeah, let's do this, because this would give us the red gem. But we need two of Basically, like rubies that look like giant rubies, but I mean, if they were giant rubies, like ah, okay, so hang it on at least. That's always why it feels so disappointing in RE3 comparison to RE2 here. But I believe uh, shotguns can be, be there, but maybe it's in a B round, but yeah. But normally, I always played with Claire first because that's. You know, and I don't know how I learned about like that Claire is supposed to be first, or if it's just that Claire is technically the first disc, but maybe it isn't. Maybe Leon is actually the first disc. Oh, and that's a diamond, yeah. That's diamond. Which is the first key we get, I believe. This is bad. Uh, I was gonna switch to shotgun there and maybe to shoot. That did not work. It's bad. Uh, actually, that's good. I mean, not really good, but you know what I mean. That guy should stay like that. Uh, let's get a green hair here. Let's see about this. Let's do that. Uh, that's for now. And then we get the classical music here. It's locked, a special kind of key, so cry. Yeah, that's where you get the costumes in this. So, yeah, in this, you never get the option to choose there in the beginning, which is, you know, something special. Uh, do we put this there? Uh, get the operational part two. And keep in mind that the side pack, the funny thing is technically, right, technically you want the side pack on the B run normally because, you know, Claire has like the grenade launch and stuff like that normally and stuff like that, but yeah. Mm. But it is always Leon that wants to have the side pack because Leon's weapons are going to take up a lot of space because of the fact that, oh yeah, he needs the parts to get the things and stuff like that and then like the... I think it's the shotgun that takes up two spaces or whatever. Not like the upgrade, like Magnum does not take up two spaces. So yeah, um, yeah, we do this now. It's just better to do this now. And I feel the pushing is actually faster in this, technically. Or at least faster than Carl Carlos does. And then we just push this just a little bit. There we go. Oh no, such puzzle much well. Uh, yeah, I do think we have actually enough to get everything, I think, in the place, even if we pick up this. Actually, let's wait <laughs> with picking it up. Because it should stay down. I'm shaking though. I'm shaking so it stays down here, so it is down here. Yeah, it is good. It does stay down there. I'm worried I forgot how many inventory spaces you need for the stars office. Because the stars office of course is open. Uh, 
uh, this should be first aid, this is always first aid because of Rebecca's desk. Right, and he doesn't comment. This Chris is this desk, but uh, it appears to be a gun. Picture of the stars members. It's trash, someone must have searched the desk. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 40. Yeah, there we go. Then you get the film. Then it doesn't say, yeah, I can tell what's on the film until I develop it. I need to develop the film. And we get a shotgun in here. Yeah, and we can combine that with what we can <laughs> Right, that's not really where you're supposed to get it, like you're not supposed to get it from Kendo for whatever reason. Chris's diary. And he has unicorn metal. Leon! Leon! Good to see you're still among the living. Looks like we're not gonna find your brother here. I know that's when I wish this game's on discount. But I used to go to games, man. <laughs> yeah, I used to recently go to Ori 2 and stuff that, you know, I'm I'm really happy that no I discount the game and stuff that. I mean I've known about it for years and stuff that and I heard people like talk about it sometimes, you know. But I thought that it was some worse version of Steam or something or like that and um, stuff that but yeah. But just like with Steam it it has sales very often. And you can find some like really really super old games that are like impossible to make them run. I mean, I am eventually planning on also getting some games that I still have and stuff that like and stuff that just because sometimes they give you like more full versions and stuff that and versions that actually work better than your own versions. Like right, that there might be a game that I already own and stuff that you know when you know. But yeah. And now we get the unicorn medal. Do we use heal up here? Yeah, we used to use the green herb here. I, I might not have been that completely full there. I might have been, yeah. Because we took a bite, I think, so yeah. So this was worth doing, I think. But yeah. I mean, there's still quite a decent amount of heal of, of uh, red herbs in this still. Uh, so this guy is still there. Uh, let's actually grab this then. We can't grab it, I mean. Because these aren't used until uh, until upstairs. Uh, right, so put that there. Um, do we just run with the shotgun for now? Uh, no. I think we run with that actually. Wow. And you actually need to use the film here. Recruit. Shit, it's Baka Soup! <laughs> it's Baka Soup recruiting for the basketball team. I mean, it does make sense though, because you know. Uh, now we shouldn't need to fucking save already. I mean, we have done one save so far, but you know. I should still be decent enough at, at this, you know, and stuff that, even though, you know. Of course, the fact that we don't. And why is he moving already?
Yeah, let me reset the room because I'm gonna check here. Because I'm pretty certain that it's 100% true that they will be dead. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it works in this at least. And, and that's how it should work in 3 as well, right? Because because I went back and checked the footage and stuff that it, because in RT there was at one point when we knifed a bunch of them or whatever and we, or we got them to black crawl around on the floor and when and when they crawl around on the floor they're not supposed to, to get up that's supposed to be count as you killing them and stuff that but I guess that you have to basically shoot them in half with a shotgun for that to count that it does not count if you knife them and then they crawl around on the floor that does not count supposedly but then this is diamond again, yeah. And upstairs is also diamond, by the way, so yeah. So we need to just go and do this. And of course, later on, the zombies can crawl through here and stuff that you can deal with a lot of zombies and stuff that. Keep in mind that the zombies do no damage to you, basically. Like, they cannot quote unquote kill you. Even I believe if you're in danger or whatever, like they, they don't some, somehow all of a sudden like be able to like you know grab you and stuff. And that's the speed by the way. So it should be like diamond a diamond speed. I think speed is second. Uh Actually, speed first. Yes. Meaning, yes, we actually go into the fax room or into the room with the corridor, and that gives us something in there. Okay, this is a completely different route because you need to actually go back to the to those interrogation rooms, kind of technically, and stuff that with this key, I believe. But that's the two places where you use them. So it's not diamond key first when Leon is doing his A run. So he uses the key here and that's one of the uses. There's no enemies in here, there's a patrol report though. And I believe there's increments in here. Yeah, and then there's. And then up here is gonna be a crank. So you just push this over here. And go grab the crank. And the crank is very useful because the crank is going to be used upstairs. Uh, right, yeah. uh, uh. And then we head back. We head back. Uh, and we need to drop some stuff up in the box. <coughs> First burp. I don't know how long we're gonna make this recording here. Also that because I have not uploaded the thing we recorded earlier today. So that I have not uploaded that yet. Um, do we bring the green herb though? I think we actually do bring double here. Uh, just in case. Because I do remember that this section could have quite a lot of zombies. And I believe like one or two liquors and stuff like that. And you know. Because see, that's the thing with this, like the handgun, like the zombies are really tough in this. As of that, the zombies require a lot of hits. I mean, if we can shoot them, we are gonna shoot them. Okay, so that's one down. I wasted a bullet though. Close are you to here? Whoa, you're pretty close. You're pretty close, dude. Oh. I heard one go down, but I don't know how close they are. That's absolutely bullshit, man, because I thought that I wasn't hitting there for whatever reason. Oh, 
Because see, here's the thing you don't do. It. Like, that's the thing you don't know if you're hitting or not. It's actually better to stand here. Oh, he's dead. I think there might be one of them. Hello. Nice. Because that's full heal. Combo. Yes. Oh yeah, and that's a diamond. Yeah, that's another diamond uh, thing. When this is... And that's gonna be another key, right? Yeah, I think the, one of these is gonna be the key itself. The funny thing is that makes it blink on the table here. It was a small key. And uh, I thought there was something else here. Is that just for the small key? Interesting. Because this is not... Yeah, that's just club. That's club and this is diamond. Club and diamond. And this is spade. Unless that is changed then, that keyhole might be actually changed then on this difficulty. Because we saw there that you cannot go upstairs of course. And stuff there by going to this place. And stuff that you, like you can't do that, so you know. Unless, of course, it's actually supposed to be in this first test, because this is the only small key thing that we can access right now. But that would mean that this would have to be something huge. Oh, but it's used, oh, it's used ammo. Unless that is open. What can I check? Yeah, second floor. Yeah, so that's a blue one there. Yeah, so it is so it is correct. Yeah, this or does open that. It does not normally do that. I'm pretty certain that spade key is not what you get first normally. It isn't spade key first, but it's diamond key normally, right? Maybe it is spade key that you always got first. Because that's why, why I was so confused, like all oh, these things are out completely and stuff that, because you know, you know. But maybe this is just the normal route and stuff that, because yeah. Because I mean, if I would have known that immediately, then I would have just come back here immediately and done, done this and stuff that. But it's good that we have actually cleaned out that area then. Uh, Do I want to? Yes, I do. I do want to to just fucking shoot you in the face with my shotgun. Yes, I wanna like, just cut off your legs. Do that at least. And then shaboom, blow off his head. And that's all of them. And then the key is useless, discard. And there should be a lot of zombies in here. Unless Claire is there. Hello, Mr. Sombos. Yeah, 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 I actually should have saved this more key for here. Come on. Come on, come on. What is the creepy car, Liz? This guy is actually unhurt, I think, even. I think that guy is completely unhurt, actually. He dropped. Not 
Okay, you will not find bite me then. And these should be shotgun shells. No, this is regular handgun ammo. There's a lot of ammo you get here. It's a lot. And this is normally like if you if you lock lock this up, then that contains the whole the full Matilda mod. Or basically because yeah, it's only one thing that you need to get the full Matilda thing. This goes to the library, uh, which has another red herb, which you pick up immediately. Uh, right to be go. Yeah, we go and do this puzzle now, so we can pick this up immediately. Technically, we could use the crank in there if I remember correctly already. Technically, we could bring the crank because I believe it's the same crank. It's not that we get two cranks, I don't think. Right, then it's just the same here. I already know what this is. I think I just remember. It's just, there is just one that you move right. It's just the middle one, right? I think it is the one that you move. I think you actually move this. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, this is not where there is things between them. I think that that's just in a mode where there are things between them and stuff that to open up. And this is gonna be the plug. He always gets the plugs. Because that's the thing that's cool that that she will always get the pieces, like even if you play with them f first, that you get the pieces and stuff that, you know. That then he gets the chest pieces, the plugs. The plugies. Okay, so... Um, this is good because this camera angle is so fucking good because it, just, it shows you that, okay, that you have a guy behind you. So you know like how how you know and keep in mind that even though even though zombies are tanking this you can still crit and stuff that and not all zombies are the same tankiness because i believe that this is like the way it's explained is of course that you know cops are going to resist cops are not just going to get bit by zombies right like immediately right they're gonna fire some shots into zombies and i believe during one run there is during a run where you actually have to get a thing here where there is actually a key item where one of the keys is over there. I believe. And there's gonna be Mr. Zombos over here. And there's gonna be another Mr. Zombo. And now it's where you burn through quite a bit of ammo here. Yeah, but it's not worth going down there. It must be, oh, but you can reach the, you can reach the item box and you can reach the save and stuff like that, but then there's like one in the next room, so you know. I think there might be guys over here. But of course you cannot, no, okay, good. Because this room is another small key. Secretary's diary. Uh, and we put away this, we put away the bad shotgun. We can just put that over here because there's no reason to use that uh, once it's out of ammo. And we combine this. So we have one of the things combined. And then we put the king plug here. And we go and grab the the ink ribbon. So yeah. I know that there are more stinky with ink ribbons in this because if you think about it like you get only two each time. Like what is it? You get three in RE3 I think. Each time right? Or is it two in that as well? But it just feels like you know you have way less in this. It always felt like you know. And we're not gonna save yet. We are going to use first go and do their thing here. 
uh, with small key. And then we win that we need a power to do the you know to do the to do the like the putting the fire out near the helicopter and stuff that you know you need power power And since we have a small key, so we use it here. And we get the handgun parts. And I wonder if the description is just as good as in the other one. They look like parts for gun now. <laughs> That's just what they are in this. Okay. And now we get... Uh, I can cause a burst with also cause the capable of firing three round auto bursts. So you can have it on manual here. And stuff like that, but it is a huge upgrade still because the stock the stock in this if I remember correctly also works as an extra magazine so that's why it can hold now 18 or I mean it did hold 18 the first thing but I believe you can also shoot faster even in manual mode with this and stuff that and I believe it actually changes also so that you can uh, yeah Yeah, maybe they should be it for, for today <laughs> and stuff like that because yeah. I mean, I want to eventually play through this on my own as well and stuff like that, you know, and stuff like that. But yeah, but you know, this this one I can't keep away from this game because I got two other games as well. But technically, one of them was a bundle that I got. I got K a KK and the uh, that's like the cross the crossfire, like the uh, the kill search and destroy or whatever it is is they called. They were like a strategy game. I remember playing the second one on like demo and it just felt like really really good and stuff like that because there was like several races in it. If I remember correctly, although I don't remember if you could play as the enemy race or whatever, right? But I do remember they were like, like super super cool units and stuff like that. I do remember it being super unbalanced though, like you know, like if you had certain units it was just, you know. So Leon 2. Wait. That is so weird, like why is the text blue in this, like the blue text is the easy mode in in the other game, in RE3, but here the blue text is the normal mode. So that makes me think again, right, that then that, uh, that it's called easy mode but it is supposed to be normal, which is what I have always said, that it's supposed to be in RE3, that it's not supposed to be easy mode, it's supposed to be normal mode, but then how come on normal mode that she has an assault rifle at the very beginning, how come that she has all of this ammo? And maybe it's supposed to be that, oh, this makes sense storyline-wise because she didn't use up all the ammo from the Spencer Mansion, so she brought with her the shotgun, she brought with her the magnum, she brought with, you know, some ammo and stuff that from the Spencer Mansion and stuff that, that she was carrying all of that with her because that kind of makes sense. <laughs> Whatever, I don't know, you know. So we have uh, three full healers. We have the bishop plug. We have the two reds that we're assuming is going to be used. We do have the crank, which allows us to go up the shaft, which we might actually have to do and stuff like that. But yeah, um, stuff we have. We also have the Matilda, uh, which is the C hand, which is the C hand gun. Which I don't know why they call it C, or or technically I believe it's supposed to stand for like combined handgun or whatever. But yeah. And of course, you eventually upgrade the, the the shotgun as well, but the shotgun isn't until, until way later and stuff that. And then of course, last is gonna be the magnum and stuff that. So yeah. <coughs> and of course, uh, I don't remember there used to be people, or even I used to think that Omg Leon gets so much better weapon, so therefore you don't want to play with Leon first, you know, and stuff that. But the technically, like class grenade launching is as good, but it's not as good obviously as the RA3 grenade launch because you cannot make free sounds in this and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, so this has been a Leon A run basically and stuff like that because normally it's normally you do Claire A and Leon B and stuff like that. I always thought that that's how the disc were 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 done and stuff like that. I mean, technically, I believe Claire was still disc one. And you must in this too, but in the in the RE2 package or in the CD case, in the CD case on the original PlayStation, the discs, all the discs were put in was not in like the first disc and the second disc. 
they weren't put in that order. So instead, the first disc that was, which was the second disc, was the Leon disc, but it said that this is like disc, disc, disc two out of two on the Leon disc. But the Leon disc was first; it was the one on the upper layer, and then there was a layer below. Basically, it was you know like disc, and then there's a thing that you flip or a thing below, below basically, and the second disc because you had like a flip thing. And then the second disc was the clear disc. And the clear disc was number one out of two. But since the Leon disc was first, people just played Leon first because it was the first disc. I mean, it said that it was the second disc or or it was the reverse or whatever. And I think it also depended on the region. So in certain regions, clear was the first disc and stuff like that. But in certain regions, Leon was the first. Because it's always supposed to be that Leon or Claire first is supposed to be the easier thing that doing Claire first because then that means that Leon is the one that gets to deal with the Mr. X and Mr. X is so much more easier or I mean technically it's still hard to deal with with Leon's weapons but Leon always feels like the guy that gets the more ammo and stuff that so we, Leon has an easier time with, with it to be run comparison to Claire and stuff that yeah. but yeah so you know <laughs> kept this a bit short but this is the Leon A and this is on normal mode of course because there is no hard mode in this technically. I mean I think there is a hard mode but I think that you have to unlock it. I also want to try and do an arranged mode run but from my understanding arranged mode is only one difficulty or that arranged mode give you like infinite ammo weapons. You still set a fault in it for whatever weird reason I think. I think there is some sort of infinite submachine gun that you get. I mean, the submachine gun is not the best weapon in the world, but you can, you know, you can do the infinite bullet trick with it. I believe I know how to do that trick, by the way. I never did it, like, back in the day. But with the submachine gun, which you can find later on, you can choose to take, like, the side pack or the submachine gun or both. But then you leave nothing for your for the second character when you do your second run. And so that, but yeah. But the submachine gun, for example... Uh, like with the submachine gun you can fire quote unquote ghost bullets so the submachine gun it only takes ammo from you or it only checks if your ammo goes down every certain amount of frames and then if you press the button used a little bit you press it very carefully the shoot button and if you press it very very carefully and very very in quick suggestion you can get like you can fire one shot basically you're, you're using up like one percent or whatever you're using up very little percentage and then by, by firing at a certain tempo, there's not just mashing, but there's a specific tempo to it. Then you can literally keep firing bullets, but you're not using a percentage, or you're using a percentage much, much, much slower and stuff that. So then you can all of a sudden kill us a ton of enemies with it without using up ammo. So the, by the way, this has been synopsis, and this has been part one of uh, Resident Evil 2 uh, Leon A normal mode. Because there is no hard mode yet. And I'll see you all next time. Oh, and that actually goes into that menu. <laughs>